hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to learn how to make a quick and beautiful project this may seem a little bit weird but it gives a very beautiful fitting when worn on the body and also you don't have to worry about the see-through bit you can always put something very small on the inside the fringe is always there to distract each and everything so i did this in orange and you can go ahead and do it in any color of your choice uh, this is the same exact color that I'll be demonstrating with and uh, the hook that I'll be using for this particular design is a four millimeter crochet hook and then a pair of scissors a dunning needle and yeah let's jump into the video so I'll be demonstrating for the size extra small to small but for the sizes medium large extra large 2xl I'll be mentioning the sizes within the video so let's begin so this design is worked from top to bottom and then later on um, fringes are attached and then also we first have to get a mesh firm which creates a base for our top and then later on we attach the fringes as you'll see in the video so let's get started if you feel like this video is a little bit faster for you uh, you can check the link in the description box below I'll be leaving a video of how to slow down this video so that it can suit your particular speed especially for beginners and for those who would like the written pattern it's already available on all my online shops so let's get started so I'm going to start off with a slip knot And we are going to make a chain from one collarbone to the other in the middle of the collarbones. So what I did is I just determined a number of chains that you will be needing to make for the different sizes. So I'll be demonstrating for a size extra small to small. So that will be a chain of 51 and that is a multiple of four plus seven. So one, two, three, four, five, Six. So I have my chain of 51 and this measures a total of around 13 inches when slightly stretched. So we're going into the seventh chain from the hook. So you're going to count from this one one two three four five six and seven and into that seventh chain you're going to place a double crochet just like that and then we are going to make a chain of three skip three chains one two three and into the fourth you're going to place a double crochet this pattern is explained in the u.s terms so chain three skip three chains one double crochet into the next and we are going to repeat that all the way across as i had mentioned earlier on we are creating the best for our top where we are going to place the fringes so we are going to create these big holes on our mesh pattern chain three skip three chains one double crochet into the fourth chain three skip three chains and one double crochet into the fourth so repeat that all the way across until you have four chains left and i'll show you what to do from there So I'm coming to the end of my row and I have a total of four chains left. I'm going to make a chain of three, skip over three chains and into the final chain, we are going to place one double crochet, chain three, 
and one more double crochet into the same exact chain and this is what you're going to have we are already creating the halter version of the mesh pattern of our halter top because this is supposed to be a halter top as you can see here the shaping of the top keeps on widening sideways something like this so let's go on to row two for row two you're going to start off with a chain of six which counts as a double crochet chain three turn your work go into the very first stitch which is this one you're going to go there with one double crochet just like that and then you're going to make a chain of three one double crochet into the next chain three one double crochet into the next double crochet and repeat this all the way across until you come towards the end of the row chaining three and one double crochet into the next double crochet so we are not working anything into the chain three spaces we are going into the stitches but as we do that we are extending the coverage of our halter top or our mesh pattern to create coverage for our bust so chain three one double crochet into the next double crochet chain three one double crochet into the next double crochet and repeat this until towards the end of the row and i'll show you what to do to wind up your row All right, so we are almost coming to the end of the row and I have two spaces left. So I'm going to chain three and go into the next double crochet with a double crochet. And now we have only one space left, which is this one. So you're going to make a chain of three, skip over three chains of the chain of six. So one, two, three, and into the fourth, we are going to place one double crochet. Chain three and one more double crochet into the same exact chain. So that way we have increased the side of our top the same exact way that we did at the beginning of the row. So if you're to look here, remember I told you the chain of six counts as a double crochet chain three, and we end with a chain three, one double crochet, which balances both sides. So we're going to repeat row two until we have our desired number of rows so this is going to um it's going to be determined by the length of the halter top that you want so i'll be back to let you know how many rows that i did for myself and uh also for a size extra small to small remember we start with a chain of six Turn, go into the very first stitch with a double crochet so that you have created an increase on the edge so from here chain three one double crochet into the next double crochet chain three one double crochet into the next double crochet and go all the way across and when you come to the end when you have only one space left you will chain three and then skip over three chains and into the fourth chain you will place uh, one double crochet chain three and one more double crochet into the same exact chain and then you'll keep working this until your work grows okay guys so i'm coming to the end of row 10 and i'm chaining three and skipping three chains here and placing one double crochet chain one and one sorry chain three and one more double crochet into the same exact chain so we've done our very last increase and you should be having a slanting edge when it comes to this side 
and this is for a size extra small small if you're a size medium you're going to do a total of 12 rows large 14 rows we are doing in increases of two two rows so extra small small 10 rows uh, medium 12 rows large uh, 14 rows extra large 16 and xxl 16 to 18 rows but just do uh, uh, depending on the stretch of your yarn just do the um your desired number of rows for mine i am having six inches so we are increasing by one one inch every size up we increase by one inch so we have six inches here and that means the next size will be seven inches the next size will be eight inches and then when it comes to a cross you should make sure that you don't have your under bust circumference yet because we need this to stretch out so we have a total of 21 inches and when we stretch it out it will go to around 24 inches which is perfectly fine because when we fold over our work like this we don't want it to meet entirely like this so uh, the next thing that we are going to do is chain one and cut our yarn then we are going to pull through now we are going to start creating fringes onto what we have right now and to do that i am going to just get um i'm going to first make the strands of yarn and then i come back and show you how to attach them all right guys so i have my strands of yarn each strand is about let me see um i cut strands of about eight inches and we're going to start attaching them onto these spaces so we're going to attach two two strands into each chain three space so something like this we're going to start with the lower row and then keep working our way up All right, so uh, let me just demonstrate from this side. Uh, I'm going to just go in a bit and then we continue to attach upwards. Because this is going to take forever. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate for you when we have attached upwards. So two, two strands still. All right, so this is the effect that I was talking about. When you keep working the fringes upwards, each and every row, 
you're going to create this layering effect that is going to make the piece uh, appear not so see-through so I've gone on to the next row Okay guys, after attaching fringes on the whole top, this is what your top will look like. And now we are going to start creating straps. Um, for our top, and I'm using two strands of yarn. I'm going to use two strands of yarn. We're going to start off with a slip knot and I'm going to make a chain of 80. So I have my 80 chains and I am going to attach them in the top corner here. And I'm going to make a total of three single crochets in each and every box all the way across. One, two, three one two three keep in mind i'm st still using two strands of yarn to create the edging of the top three one two three one two three one two three one two and three one two three and into the very last one we shall only place one single crochet there and then make a chain of 80. So after 80 chains, you're going to cut your yarn and then pull through. Cut off the excess yarn on the ends of the straps, the upper straps. And now we're going to also attach straps. These ones are going to go behind the neck. Now we're going to create straps on the bottom corners of the top. So at the bottom here, into the very last row. So we're going to attach into the last row and still make a chain of 80 to 100. So I've done a total of 80 chains and I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So I have my 80 chains, cut your yarn and cut off the excess. 
and that's basically it this is what your top should look like i don't think we have to weave in loose ends because the top is basically made of fringes but um these lower straps are going to wrap around your rib cage and tighten the lower part of the top like this this is the wrong side of the top the right side of the top is this one with the fringes and then these ones are going to be tied at the back of the neck something like this and let's see the final look of the top Wow, isn't it?